Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Merlin and today I am going to walk you through decorating your binders and I don't care if you are four or a hundred and four if you use binders you need to have them decorated and well if you're four you should probably have a parent help you <laughs> but watch and find out how alrighty so here is the bare bones of everything that you need to complete this project you need a scissors a ruler an exacto knife a bottle of Mod Podge, a Mod Podge applicator. You can also use a um, black foam brush if that's easier for you. A hot glue gun, printouts, um, or a poster, or some type of papery thing to use as the background on the front of it. Um, you can even use a brown paper grocery bag with a an interesting design, and then. Of course, you need a binder. For this project, I'm using these five star um, notebook binder hybrids because I like to use these instead, but you can very well do this project with a standard binder. For your first step, if you're like me and printed something out to use on the cover of your binder um, and you wanted it to cover the entire front, then what you have to do first is use Adobe Acrobat to basically print out these different tiles on multiple sheets of paper so that your um, image matches the size that you need for your binder cover. And then this is where you take your ruler and X-Acto knife and on these you will see little marks that you have to follow with the ruler and X-Acto knife to cut. And the trick is you only cut one side of each of the gaps. That way you can use this strip to attach it on the back. Alrighty, so now I have all of my images for one of the binders. This one I'm kind of going for a train public transport uh, map theme. So I have um, the LA Metro. I have the map of Amtrak, I have the New York City subway, and I have the Diet New York City subway, also known as the Chicago L, um, ready to use for this. And what I am doing is I am going to decorate both the inside cover as well as the outside, just to kind of make it look nice. So for your next step, what you're going to do is trace the outline of your binder on the back of one of the sheets. And for mine, I'm going to do this for the front first. And then after you trace it, you want to cut it out and make sure that you cut a little bit larger because it's easier to cut it off later than it is to add more on. After you have cut down your piece to be just larger than the size of your binder, what you want to do is is mark to cut around any obstacles. So on mine, I have these uh, binding pieces that stick up. So I'm going to have to cut around those so the paper will sit flush with the uh, the edge of the cover. Alrighty, so for your next step, what you're going to do is you're going to take Mod Podge and you're going to apply it to the cover of your binder as well as the front and back of whatever you're applying to your, uh, <clears throat> your binder and then you're going to let it dry. Um, you're not actually going to attach the two together though yet. That comes in the next step. Alrighty, once everything is at least tacky to the touch, if not dry to the touch, what you're going to do is you're going to take another coat of Mod Podge and apply it directly to the binder cover where you want 
your uh, where you want your paper to stay. And then what you're going to do is slowly apply different areas and then smooth it out with either a credit card or a gift card um, just to make sure that it sticks. If it does not stick, what you can also do is take a hot glue gun and just run a bead along the edges of the binder and that will keep it down. Alrighty, so after you allow the Mod Podge to dry um, to where it's completely dry to the touch, what you want to do is take your scissors and go along the edge of the binder and cut off the excess. Once you have gone along all three sides and cut off all the excess, um, just you can do another coat and then just let your uh, Mod Podge dry overnight and it'll be ready to use the next morning. And yeah, it's that easy. I love my new binders, um, especially this one, which I experimented with a brown paper grocery bag from Trader Joe's. Um, and I love the design of these and hopefully now these will inspire me to make more YouTube videos regularly. Um, so you all have something to watch. And if you like this video, please uh, subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, uh, comment below if you have any uh, DIYs that you would like to see, or find me on social media. And if you do this DIY, share pictures with me. I'd love to see them. Thanks again.